Good. Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity, 12 o'clock location. We have White starting as the blue Protoss. Bottom left-hand corner, we have XTO. I love XTO. As the red Terran, this is going to be on Ascension, and this is game two of BSL Season 14 Hasu League, round of 16, Group C. And game one, White really dominated it, top to bottom, went for that Reaver shuttle play and just demolished XTO, to be honest. XTO trying to fight it out, lingering for quite a bit of time, but White just was too much. And we'll see if that is going to be a repeat or if XTO is something better to show here in game two. I do want to give a shot. I'm kind of biased towards XTO here because XTO also does his own commentary. He's also on Twitch, so be sure to follow him and watch his games. And yeah, he also casts BSL. So commentator support. This is going to be on Ascension, and if Reavers were a problem on the previous map, they're going to be an even bigger problem on this map, where you just have an immense amount of room to do... I'll go ahead and do the map reveal. Just an immense amount of room to just go ahead and drop all over the place, and you don't have the protective ramp to deal with potential busts coming down the ramp. This ramp, otherwise... It, feels like that's one artifact of Ascension that is interesting comparative to other maps, where it is both rampless and they're advantageous ramps for your opponent across both the third and outside the natural expansion. Which, I think it, maybe that's my argument would make it more of a Protoss favor map. Barracks alongside the command center right here. We have a probe making its way here, and man, I'm hoping this is kind of just a side ramp while this game's getting rolling. I really hope I can finish BSL Season 14 Hasu League before Season 15 starts. It's going to be close. Season 15 schedule is already out there. Go ahead and check it out. Continental Wars this time. We're going to see Artosis as a participant this time. I'm excited to see that. Assimilator Warping and Gateway at other side. And hopefully I'm also going to be able to cast more of the Pro League. We'll have to see. And if Artosis is... If I do get an opportunity to cast Artosis in the Pro League, that's going to be like some weird sort of dream come true. Looks like we are seeing three SCV in gas after the initial dedicated one probe getting a little bit of harassment. SCV gets did, man, uh, did manage to wander up and get first scout. It's just going to hang out here towards the natural expansion. We are seeing a cybernetic score and a pylon interior to the base, so showing the second pylon here. So quick cybernetic score. The probe not. So this is an interesting play. SCV wandering out there maybe to preventatively put down a bunker to make a play. No, XTO just going to straight up with what he's seen. Seeing that there's a cybernetic score no zealot produce, he's just going to straight up plant that command center down before bunker, knowing that he doesn't have a lot of pressure to do so. This probe, not really able to blockade, hasn't taken a huge amount of damage, and he's going to sneak right back underneath that marine being a little bit lazy. No additional marine being produced as well. And the factory going to be somewhat delayed. So first Dragoon being produced, range not yet being upgraded for White. White going straight to Robotics Facility again, wants to go for more of this action. And now XTO, I mean, he had trouble covering this previously. Now he's got a lot of territory to cover and he's not built a second Marine or additional Marines to help with that anti-air effort. He's pocketing, I'm wondering how I sh we should figure out the hotkey, but there's the SCV hanging out nearby to see if there's a natural expansion. And seeing that there's no natural expansion at this stage or even even movements, at this stage, he's got to suspect that there's going to be some sort of pressure once again. The probe still alive and actually confirming that, yeah, just a lighter marine count overall. And with the, I feel like XTO is, it's going to be a tough defense. I'm not going to say it's an impossible defense. I'm just saying it's going to be a tough defense. Double factory behind this, no anti-air as of yet. Two Dragoons and a Zealot. There's a robotic support bay and the shuttle already being produced. So White wants to do more of the same. We do have a bunker now on the front door with three Marines nestled inside. But this is just a huge area for just three Marines to try to defend. Maybe if we see, so we do have an engineering bay going up, but I'm almost wondering if an armory would have been more suitable getting, or skipping, delaying the factory, getting armory, and maybe even getting, uh, after the first siege tank, a Goliath up, depending on the timing of all, especially Looking at game one, the SCV able to sneak through while those Dragoons are out of position, able to confirm the robotic support bay and the shuttle. So now the question becomes, XTO sees it coming. What's his response? 
Is he just going to try to build a turret ring? Because this is going to be a very wide turret ring. The one thing is his white has invested a lot of resources. It looks like he's now going to go ahead and drop that natural expansion. He's invested a lot of resources in getting this very rapid robotic support bay. Skip Dragoon range. Has played a little bit light on his attack trooping, and XT does have the economic lead. He's got a three probe, three pro, three worker lead. Much earlier natural expansion, and this is, I mean, the naturals basically just started for white. So white does need to get something accomplished. Starting to move up with these troops. Engineering Bay floating to the north. But keep in mind, even Reavers from this angle, there's only going to be, well, let's see if the two siege tanks, and I no siege check yet. So maybe the a flood of siege tanks will help with this defense. Having a lot of siege tanks working against this can be a big boon. However, if they get micro down by some troops ferried in, basically if white finds any room here, and I do believe there's like a gap right here, to go ahead and drop, yeah, take care of this and go ahead and get the rest of these troops in. So both turrets gonna get taken out. The Marines have not made any movement. We do have a siege tank sieging right there, but no turret ring in the interior. The Dragoon's dropping. SCV's pulling out the line to try to defend them. He's gonna be group repair on that tank. Some SCV's killed already. Siege tank that was interior to the base down. Three Dragoons still alive. One Dragoon heavily damaged. More group repair on this tank, but it is not sufficient. Both tanks gone. And now you have a Reaver with just the three Marines. Two more tanks have been produced. The Dragoon's right on top of it. Two Dragoons getting splatted immediately. Was that shuttle taken out? I think the shuttle might have gotten taken out. And White loses the Reaver, but he has dropped XTO to 16 workers, which is sufficient to keep him in this match. So that's going to... with the double expansion, let's see if... Yeah, White's going to go ahead and expand once again behind this, particularly because he's kept that siege tank count low. XTO has built more Marines to potentially deal with additional threats. Another probe nearby, and it looks like White's just going to go ahead and save up resources and build again. He's already plopped down a couple of additional gateways. We'll see how XTO... He's not in a I'm dead situation. He's rebuilding his turret ring. Keep in mind that it's a big investment from White to go ahead and do that, but currently White does have a significant supply lead. He's looking for another drop, realizing those turrets retard. Nice micro to go ahead and get those troops right back out of there. The probe trying to find space once again to get some sort of scouting information. Unable to do so. So right now, XTO economically behind. White in a position to go ahead and grab his third and push the game from there. Another Reaver is going to be out momentarily. And this Reaver, especially with that shuttle that's still alive, thinking, well... Shuttle looks like it tried to make a... I just missed it. It was trying to make another entry. I honestly wish he had kept that shuttle alive. Xtio's sneaking out an SCV. I'm wondering if he's going to try to go for a ninja expansion somewhere out here. That would be kind of a clever play. Yeah, he's going to go for a ninja expansion in the bottom right-hand corner. He's actually going to end up ahead of white. Because usually in PvT, you want to stay one base ahead as the Protoss player. So right now, he m there's no reason for him to scout down here. He may believe, okay. And here's the other thing. White moving out, that Reaver and Shuttle... Or sorry, the there wasn't a Reaver in it. The Shuttle's gone. So this is going to be a challenging defense for White, despite having the supply lead here. Because those are siege tanks. That's a lot of them. And there's not a lot of Dragoons and Reavers to defend this. Another Shuttle is out. Let's see if he can micro his way out of this. The Reaver wants to go ahead and loop up on top of this. Does manage to land. White there... Actually, have more Dragoons than I realized. He's easily going to be able to combat this, and XTO overextending, losing more Siege Tanks. The Reaver and Shuttle trailing and chasing. This is also going to open up XTO's front. A dud of... Uh, nope, still gets the Siege Tank. So XTO gets that Command Center up in that upper right-hand corner, has more Siege Tanks on the front. So I don't know that White's going to press this issue, although... I take it back. He's pressing forward. There's no SCVs to help with that bunker, and the Marines were on the front to, the, to assist with that. Siege tank going to take out the Reaver. More Dragoons pressing forward. And White wants to end this here. Group repair on that forward siege tank might just be sufficient to send these Dragoons packing. Two siege tanks now on the front. A shuttle's still there if they want to try to bomb one direction or the other, but now the Dragoons backing off holding what they believe is a potential third. 
for XTO, but the third is already up. SCV's starting to filter that location. One advantage for White is he can go ahead and Maynard his troops so to get that saturated a little bit more rapidly, but White still with the supply lead. As things progress, though, if he doesn't realize this base is in place, it is very likely that XTO could sneak his way back into this. Armory down, two additional factories, sorry, three additional factories being plopped down for XTO. It's going to be a while before he really is going to have any sort of formidable attack force to do anything. In the meantime, White does have a lot of gateways behind us. He's up to the five count. Looks like he's moving his way to settle of the dune. Would not be shocked to see him drop a starport right here. He's got that 20 supply lead that he's looking for. This is really the big X factor here. XTO actually ahead in the workers at this stage of things. White, I think by all indications, has to think I'm ahead. So clever play right here. We'll see if it pays off. But it's still going to be a minute before XTO has a larger troop count than White on the ground. He might go for that plus one weapons. I'm not sure what the timing of it's going to be. We've had such a wild opener. Third machine shot dropping. Vulture speed upgrading as well. And knowing XTO's style of play, I would not be surprised if he just waits until that plus one weapons hits and tries to press out from that stage of things. Currently, though, still 20 supply lead for White. White is moving his way towards Arbiter Tech. I don't think he's going to be punished for that timing. Like, However, XTO, is he moving out to grab a fourth, or is he actually going to attack with this? This is kind of a... Feels like this is a pretty small attack force, particularly without weapons one, so he's checking to make sure that third is an under threat. And it looks like he is positioning as though he's thinking about going ahead and grabbing that third, or maybe just try, hoping there was an observer overhead. Bring a fake. Oops. Comsat run wrong direction. Going ahead and comsatting. Seen two additional gateways. I think he got the edge of that Stargate. So we got eight gateways behind this. White supply lead shrinking now. Vulture is sneaking out. They're going to go ahead and maybe get some mines in the way. At least then they would be able to see if there was an attack moving out. And White, actually now if he even wanted to attack that bottom right hand corner, would have to be very, very careful in doing so. Because if he overcommits could open up a breach, so it would be a trade situation where XTO would be losing expansion, but could go ahead and plop down some troops outside the third and then move potentially right into the natural. And XTO moving up to go ahead and grab a fourth, a lot of Dragoons and Zealots and Shuttles. I believe they are speed upgraded at this stage. We did have Double Forge rolling behind this, and I think I'm gonna try to land that attack. Some Vultures getting caught. The mine's really not catching anything. I don't think, think they even exploded on a zealot right there. So more mines being laid behind this to go ahead and cut off the enforcements. White, his army being really hit hard on the high ground, but he's got a lot of dragoons here. This is a lot of siege tanks, however. And now White, yeah, scattering back. He's got to be surprised by the amount of troops that XTO was able to field here. Shuttle sitting behind this. So now he's got to be puzzled. Like, okay, I did a lot of economic damage earlier. What's going on? And the Dragoon's eating a lot of mine fire on their retreat. XTO pressing forward to get aggressive. More Zealots going to re rejoin. White needs to make sure he doesn't lose this high plateau over his third. And plus one weapons kicking in now for XTO. He has the 20 supply lead all of a sudden. His bottom right-hand corner base really paying off for him. He's still at that five factory count. He's dropped four machine shops. So there's going to be a flood of tanks. A flurry of compsat. White gonna have to back out of this position. He's gonna need these zealot bombs to be absolutely magical to deal with this. One siege tank getting out of control and pressing forward. More siege tanks grouping up on the high ground. Zealot bombs on the low ground. Vulture is able to quickly clean them up before they're able to get a kill. Goliath taking out that shuttle as well. And the Dragoon scrambling and eating siege tank fire up the ramp. And XTO just moments from taking this high ground plateau. At the very least, he's got White potentially completely boxed in. More reinforcements moving up. An Observer now confirming that there's three bases. So it's three base versus four base. White trying to exit to go for an end around. Just 
evacuating this base. Maybe he wants to just go for a punch counterattack at this third base. There's plenty of siege tanks here, though, to intercept it. It looks like the mine going ahead and seeing these troops incoming. Keep in mind, there's four machine shops worth of production behind this that XTO can reinforce with. Mine's landing. Dragoon's just face planting into it. They're getting wiped out, and I think this is going to be the GG. Yep, there's the GG moment. White's going to look at this re replay and kind of got to be puzzled by the economic output of XTO, but a great play from XTO. Sneaking that expansion and bottom right, really pulling them back into this match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Going to move into the final match between these two to see who gets eliminated from VSL Season 14 and who advances.